acidity of catalyst versus acid sites theoretically as the acid site increases the acidity increases experimentally as the acid sites increases the acidity decreases how we can understand this behavior acidity of catalyst versus acid sites a1 is the aluminum is the acidic site but silicon is more electronegative than aluminum electronegativity effect silicon makes the release of hydrogen ions faster since it attracts electrons toward it which makes the proton away of it acidity of catalyst versus acid sites it is possible to conduct conclude that the acid strength of a site will increase when there is a decrease in the number of aluminum atoms in the next nearest neighbor position of aluminum atom so the strongest type of the framework bronsted site is a completely isolated aluminum tetrahedron which has zero n n n or zero triple n acidity characterization of a catalyst acidity of the catalyst can be assessed by temperature program desorption tpd fourier transformation infrared spectroscopy ftir and used laser spectroscopy il temperature program desorption tdp pure carrier gas typically helium flows over the sample as the temperature is raised to dissolve the previously absorbed gas ammonia the characteristics fingerprint of each catalyst used to determine the distribution of acid site strength or strength if ammonia is sorbed gas or the distribution of basic site if carbon dioxide is a sorbed gas temperature program desorption tdp temperature and time fourier transformation infrared spectroscopy ftir by this method we assess acidic site bronsted acid site acidic site or lewis acidic site for example if pyridine is the pro molecule it will give peaks at 1540 per cm for bronsted site 1450 per cm for lewis site acidic sites in solids types lewis electron acceptor and bronsted proton donors in important to know for mechanism bronsted lewis silica aluminum silicate sulfated zirconia lewis and bronsted acidic sites in solids id and measurement spectroscopy of basic pro molecule example pyridine concentration quantified by peer law from transition ir spectra e is equal to measured energy spectrum t is transmittance a is absorbance i is absorbance p areas and use laser spectroscopy il the assess the acidity by il probe molecule has to be prepared in the in different acidic concentration solutions lifetime measurements has to run on to each concentration calibration curve between life time versus concentration of acid and use laser spectroscopy diagram lifetime in nanosecond and hcl concentration of hcl conclusion there is no single method that can be used to determine all aspects of acidity for solid nature strength and the number of acid sites each method measures only certain aspects and therefore the application of many methods is desirable